you know, a lot of guys like, you know, if that is your last game, I feel sorry for you. And I'm like, you know, don't feel sorry for me. <laughs> I've had a. Hell yeah, brother. The Kelsey brothers on the verge of tears as Jason addresses the possible end to his NFL career. You put a lot of hard work in. You really do. And, um, you know, it's when it doesn't pan out and when it, you know, it's a heck of a collapse. The emotional moment comes days after Jason's team, the Philadelphia Eagles, got kicked out of the NFL playoffs by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think the hardest job on a coaching staff is offensive coordinator. They're hard to find. Tears were shed from Jason during the game, which sparked rumors it was his final one. And that will do it. Well, that looks like a man filled with emotion right now. Sure does. Emotional ending, dude. I think everybody uh, in the football world felt this one, man. On their New Heights podcast, Travis says it wasn't only an emotional game for Jason, but for him and their entire family, too. I was feeling it. I know Kylie, mom, dad, everybody that was at the game was feeling it. And I know uh, all the friends and family that I got texts from that, uh, that wanted me to tell you they reached out. Uh, yeah. They were all feeling it, man. Shortly after the match, there were reports the Eagles center told his teammates in the postgame locker room he was retiring. Turns out he did chat with his team, and Jason couldn't hold back his tears talking about it. I did address the team and pretty much said the same thing that I just said to you, which is, you know, I got belief in every single one of you guys, you know, cherish the moment you have in this league. Um, you know, a lot of guys like, you know, if that is your last game, I feel sorry for you. And I'm like, you know, don't feel sorry for me. <laughs> I've had a <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, man. While Jason doesn't officially announce his retirement on the podcast, he does tease it'll all come out in his exit interview this week. I guess I'll just start explaining it, right? Yeah. Um, and we'll all be at the edge of our seat waiting on what decision <laughs> <laughs> you end up making, well, big guy. Yeah. I promise you that. I got three kids. I got a wife. You know, between broadcasting, podcasting, from health, like being a good husband and father, like every logical thing is telling me I should stop playing football. Yeah, when Jason does say goodbye to football, he'll still have a lot on his plate. And while he won't be playing against his brother on the field anymore, they'll always have their podcast. They're just fun to watch. What does that make you feel as a mama when you watch those guys together? It, it, it's very surreal because they weren't that way when they were little. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a lot of fighting, a lot of fighting, a lot of, you know, throwing each other, you know, on the couch. Jason and Trav's mom, Donna, says it wasn't always so peaceful between the bros growing up. But she told E.T. she loves to see them connecting as adults. You know, I, it makes me feel wonderful that they have such a close bond. Um, it, we have a small family. You know, uncle didn't have any children, aunt didn't have any children. And so I think that's part of why they're as close as they are. 